Welcome to Micro, a podcast for short but powerful writing. I'm your host, Drew Hawkins. Zac Efron, Dangerous Chili, and Great Popsicles. You guessed it, the first editor edition of Micro Season 2. Each of the readers you'll hear are editors at their own publications, and they'll be reading their own work that was published in another publication. Featuring three very different pieces with very different tones, this episode converges around dissonance, recognizing habits and the inability to change them, complex relationships, cold water, and hot sun. This first piece looks in the mirror and asks you to love it anyway. It's called I'm All About That GTL Life. Jim, Tan, love me for who I am. It was written by Sean Berman and published by Barabua Journal on November 9th, 2020. Enjoy. I'm all about that GTL life. Jim, Tan, love me for who I am. Because I'm way too old to be changing my filthy habits at this point, sweetie. And I've tried several times to stop calling movies films, since I know it sounds pretentious as heck when we're out with friends, just casually talking about stuff, and I go on a 20-minute tangent about Zac Efron's wasted potential in High School Musical, and how he should have played the bully instead of the sweet-loving jock. It's just that... I get excited when people talk to me, and making friends as an adult is super hard, ever since I was shunned by my coworkers for accidentally bringing English muffins on Bagel Friday. I quadruple swear that it's not a hobby of mine to feed people inferior oval-shaped carbs. It was just a little slip-up, an honest mistake. Besides, it wasn't that big of a deal, like that time Andrew Jackson's pet parrot had to be escorted out of Jackson's funeral because he wouldn't stop cursing. To be honest, that bird should have been given a medal for being awesome. Just my two cents. Thanks for listening. Truly appreciate it. Sean Berman runs The Daily Drunk. His books, At the Movies and Mr. Funny Man, are both out now. You can find him on Twitter at SBB underscore writer. Our second piece takes a heavier turn and comes with a content warning as a woman navigates the aftermath of an assault and navigates her relationship with her mother. It's called Maternal. It was written by Meg Pocris and published in Milk Candy Review on April 2nd, 2020. Enjoy. Maternal from Milk Candy Review. After I was assaulted, I spent the night at my mother's house. She asked me what I wanted for dinner. I know this because that is what she said to me. What do you fancy? She said she made some dangerous chili. That was her mistake. I told her that it would be fine for me. I sat in two of her sturdy chairs. Both of them hurt. I stood up and looked outside at the teenage girls smiling at me from across the street. Be safe, I thought. My mother was telling me about a mystical friend named Sonia, a beautiful woman, she said, a fortune teller. At least you're okay, she said. I was trying very hard to listen to her story about being vaguely in love with the woman. I remembered how she had once admitted she was bisexual, as if she were telling me what a perfect mother she really was. This was after Dad left, around the time that my breasts grew in, before I ran away. Don't tell me this kind of stuff, I had said. Act like a parent if you don't mind. At the time, I remember how I felt about my body, watching it bloom from above. I resembled the kind of girl a father would be proud of. My mother was depressed during that time. Today, she cries only because I'm safe. She says she's making plenty more food in the kitchen. I curl up on my mother's floor, imagine a switchblade in my hand. Would I have used it on him? Would he have turned it back on me? 
I say, sorry about dad. I look at her and try not to bleed on her rug. When she pulls me up, my mind is a diamond, hard and brilliant, a thing she can finally understand. I try to breathe. You have to get treated, she says. I love you. I let her hold me. Let her extinguish my hair. Meg Pocris is the author of six flash collections, two flash novellas, and a book of prose poetry, Cellulose Pajamas, for which she received the Blue Light Book Award. Her work has appeared in over 800 literary magazines, including Electric Literature, Craft, The Center for Fiction, Waxwing, and Washington Square Review, and has been internationally anthologized. She serves as founding co-editor of Best Microfiction Anthology Series and teaches flash fiction online. You can find her on Twitter at Meg Pocris or on her website at megpocris.com. Our final piece is a brief and visceral getaway that we never knew we wanted. Far from idyllic, close to nostalgic, full of sensory detail. It's called I Do Not Want to Live Without You. It was written by Kathy Ulrich and published by Flash Frog on June 21st, 2021. Enjoy. I Do Not Want to Live Without You. The motel with its raggedy bedspread and tottering TV that only plays 17 channels two of them Spanish, and a swimming pool near the parking lot, all concrete deck, and swim at your own risk. And we are swimming at our own risk, broken pool heater and all, chattering teeth when we come out onto the sun-warmed ground. And maybe later there will be consequences in police cars, maybe later it will be like our parents said, but now it is us dangling our feet in cold water and sucking on dripping grape popsicles we got from the little store down the street, and our shoulders going brown, brown, brown in the sun, and the sound of the TV through our open motel window. No quiero vivir sin ti. Kathy Ulrich is editor at Milk Candy Review and a writer from Montana whose work has been published in various journals and anthologies. You can find her on Twitter at Loki underscore Rice or on her website at kathyulrichwriter.wordpress.com. Micro is edited and curated by Dylan Evers. Our social media is managed by fellow curator M.M. Kaufman and the show is produced and hosted by me, Drew Hawkins. Our theme song is by Matt Ordez. You can find all the information about this episode's editors, their featured work, and the publications where they were published, as well as a transcription of this episode in the show notes. Find more of our shows wherever you listen to podcasts, or check out our website at micropodcast.org. And you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Podcast Micro. Thanks for listening. <laughs>